Hi there! Welcome to video number 24 of God of War. We are continuing right where we left off. We are going back to Midgard to give the heart of the bridge keeper to Freya so she can help Atreus with his condition and his ailment. We're going to jump right back in where we left off on the previous video. And thank you very much for joining me. Let's jump right back in. shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father, Zeus? I finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. <laughs> he has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Can you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. Is that a... So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Nice. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. <laughs> Just go, brother. I'm sorry, I keep seeing the little wisp and they look like little indica um, indicators I can interact with something. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? 
It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Right. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. Sorry. Guess we're going. Now then. Before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. Well, let's just open up this door and see where it goes. Chamber of Odin. Another one. Oh, another Valkyrie fight.
Okay. A Valkyrie. We have to save her. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? So don't keep wasting my time. Isn't that heavy? Yes. It doesn't seem heavy. There we go. There we go. Fine. Let's see if I can get over there first. Yep. Okay. There we go. Rampage of the Furies. Washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Nope, still kinked. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. 
I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Kjersval, do we? I mean, we're gone. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. <laughs> Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean... Just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously. Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule, 
He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the Giants instead of helping to steal their secrets from Asia. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the Giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jonar town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Hmm. That is going to do it for episode number 24 of God of War. We're getting really into it, aren't we? I'm going to figure out what this black rune is, go to Jotunheim, and deliver Mother's Ashes to the highest peak of the mountains. I'm not sure what to say other than I'm really excited to see what comes with Atreus, and it seems like he's getting a little into himself just automatically. But either way, we'll see what happens next time on God of War number 25. Follow me on Twitch if you want to see these recordings live, or subscribe below if you want to get notifications of when these videos premiere. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.